G'day guys, Greg here. Well, the weather's starting to cool down now, and that means only one thing to me, beef stew. There's nothing more comforting than a nice beef stew, and I've got a perfect recipe for you that I'm gonna show you how to make, so let's get into it. This is Greg's kitchen. This requires a ton of ingredients, so I'm gonna leave a list down below in the show more bar of what everything is, but I'll be saying the amounts along the way as well, so let's start cooking. So when you are making a beef stew, make sure you always use chuck casserole steak, because this is the best steak for a stew. If you use another type, you're just wasting your money. So I'm gonna cut this all up and trim all the fat bits off. Okay, so now I've cut the meat up, I'm just gonna add some flour to a bowl, which I'm gonna add some salt and pepper to. Mix that through, and I'm just gonna coat this beef in the flour. And now I've done that, I'm just gonna quickly cut up an onion as well, just into chunks. Okay, so now it's time to cook the meat. So I'm gonna add some oil to the pot here. Make sure you've got a nice deep pot for this too. And I'm gonna start cooking this meat in batches. Now it's best to cook it in batches so it can separate, so you can brown the meat properly. Otherwise, if you put it all in together, it would just steam and then turn all gray and horrible and yucky. So just do a couple of quick batches and brown the meat. All right, well that meat looks beautifully brown now. So I'm just gonna put the rest of it into the bowl with the other stuff that I've already done. And now into this, I'm gonna throw my onions and we'll just start cooking these until they turn that translucent color. Now once I've done that, I'm gonna add a couple of spoons of the tomato paste and give that a stir through. We'll give that a couple of minutes. So now I'm just gonna add that leftover flour that was, I had the meat in, about a tablespoon's worth and we'll stir that through. And now I'm gonna add a cup of red wine to that. We'll just stir that through and scrape off all that meat that was stuck to the base. Just scrape everything off the bottom of this pan. And now that's thickened up nicely. What I'm gonna do is return my meat with all the juices. I'm gonna add my four cups or one liter or a quart of stock. And if you've got some fresh thyme, use about four sprigs of it. But I'll just throw in some of this jarred stuff, about a teaspoon worth and a couple of bay leaves. I'm also gonna throw in about a tablespoon of garlic powder. And we just wanna bring this to the boil. Might take about five minutes. Okay, so now once that's just started to boil, what we're gonna do is turn the heat right down to low. And we're just gonna let that simmer on the stove uncovered for about one hour. And now while that's simmering away, now's the perfect opportunity for you to cut all your vegetables up into nice big chunks. So by the magic of YouTube, that's done. All right, well the time has just gone off, so now I'm gonna add all my vegetables. I'm gonna add a bit of a dollop of butter in there as well, and some pepper. Maybe a dash of salt. So now I've added those vegetables, what I'm gonna do is turn the heat right up and get this boiling. And once that's boiling again, what I'm gonna do is reduce the heat right down to its lowest level and put the lid on. And we're gonna cook that, and let that simmer for about an hour, but I'll come back in about 40 minutes and check on it. Right, well that hour's up already, so let's take a look at our stew. Ah! Boy, that's hot. Oh, yum. Well, I'm starving, so let's plate some up. So I'll just put some in here. All right, well there's some of that stew I just whipped up. It looks fantastic. It smells terrific. It's still very hot, but I'll give it a go anyway. Oh my God. Mm. That is such good comfort food, I tell you. And this sauce. Mm. Oh. Now that meat is so tender. Oh boy. Oh, Just a perfect, beautiful stew. Well, that was truly delightful. That was. Oh, oh. I hope you enjoy it. If you do give it a go, let me know how yours turns out. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time right here on Greg's Kitchen. Oh yeah, this is Greg's Kitchen. Where the